One challenge that I've often struggled with when dealing with monosaccharides like glucose, mannose, galactose, is how can I quickly recognize and draw these three most commonly tested structures? Um, they're used on MCAT a lot, and I'm sure on other standardized tests as well. How can I memorize them? How can I draw them quickly? And I came up with sort of a mnemonic that I'd like to share. So the mnemonic is two, three, four. And it relies on remembering that mannose goes on the left, glucose goes in the middle, and galactose goes on the right. So let's start by drawing glucose. The standard structure, CHO, and then CH2OH. This much we have to get comfortable with the structure of monosaccharides. Glucose happens to be an aldehyde, and there are some sugars that are ketones as well, but let's just focus on glucose for now. And there's going to be four chiral centers. So for four chiral centers, I drew four intersections. So now if we go one, two, we're labeling the carbons here. Let's zoom in to second carbon, third carbon, fourth carbon, fifth carbon, sixth carbon. So based on the two, three, four, we're drawing the glucose in the middle first. We will say, okay, let's just go normal OH, OH, OH. You know, this is D glucose, which means the last, the last side group from the chiral, chiral carbons is D, which means on the right. D means dextro, dextro means right. So we know this much. It's dextro, so the OH is there. So the normal thing to do is have everything as OH on the right side, but you know, two, three, four, three sandwiched in the middle. Only on the third one, we will not do that, okay? Every place else, we'll just put OH down and put its pairing, um, put its other partner pair, conjugate, whatever you wanna call it, put the other thing on the other side. So here we go. If you notice, HOH normal, HOH normal, HOH normal, because OH is here, it's dextro, dextro means to the right. And the only thing I flipped was for position number three, I chose to flip it to OH and H. And that is glucose. So let's take a quick peek at this. Let me make this a little bit smaller so we can compare. And here we go. So yeah, H, three H's and one HO on the third position three H's and one HO in the third position and the complements on the other side are correct as well. So now not only have we drawn glucose, we figured out a quick way to identify glucose. What we'll be looking for, if we're given a Fisher projection, we'll be, for D-glucose, first we'll be looking at the OH on the last chiral carbon, right? The first and the sixth, they're not chiral. They don't have four unique uh, motifs or four unique anything hanging off of it but the four in the middle are chiral carbons. Chiral meaning it has four unique things hanging off of it or connected to it. So for the last chiral carbon, first you say D-glucose, D means to the right. I have to see a side group like OH on the right. Okay, I'm looking at a D structure. It's a D-saccharide, D-monosaccharide, but I wonder what, oh, it's also a aldehyde, CHO, right? That's a carbon connected to uh, one hydrogen, double bonded to an oxygen and R, and this R, represents this entire backbone. That's what the R represents. So we know it's an aldehyde. We've got two key features of a glucose. We're working for, we, all these key features of glucose are working for us. And then we found one, two, three, four, five. On the third, it's flipped. Everything else is fine. Good, we got glucose. So now we've found a quick way to identify it as well. Now let's work on the two, three, four part. So from that, we know galactose is to the right. That's a little bit of a memorization. And we know mannose is to the left. So now first we're gonna try drawing them and then we're gonna try identifying them. CHO, CH2OH. Okay, so two, three, four. This leverage the number three, this will leverage the number four, this will leverage the number two, two, three, four. Um, they both, they're all aldehydes, CHO, CHO on top. Great, six carbons, six carbons, um, right? One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six carbons, right? That's true everywhere. And now we just use the number two. So only one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, the intersection represents a carbon. Three, four, 
five, six. It's just hidden away in the intersection. We're not calling it out if that was not yet obvious. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. Okay, so fourth position. Okay, everything is OH, 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 other than the fourth position. We'll come back to that. Everything is OH, 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 other than the fourth position. But there's actually a caveat. Since these are epimers, um, and the word epimer means they have only one thing different. Uh, so since these are epimers of glucose, they have to actually copy what it did in number three as well. So they have to be the same as glucose. So what did glucose do in step three? It had this. So they get that. Okay, now they're epimers of glucose. Now there's something different than if that different thing is on step two. Okay, so this gets HOH. That's the flip and this gets the flip on its fourth one, right? And then fill in the complementary atoms on the other side, and let's compare, right? So what did we do first? First thing we said was, okay, it's gotta keep at least one thing the same as glucose, fine. We kept one position the same as glucose. Then we said, okay, let's use the fact that we have two, number two, number two, so we gotta do something differently at number two. We did that differently. Got to do something differently. Number four, we did that differently. Okay. Then we just filled in all the OHs on the right side, which is the standard procedure for something that is D the lactose. And D means right. D means dextro. Dextro means right. And mannose. Okay. So let's see if we actually did this correctly, right? So we'll take a look. Here we go. Let's do a comparison with red. We got HH, we got HH, we got ho ho, we got ho ho, we got ho ho hair, we got ho ho hair, we got HH hair, we got HH hair. This is D manos, this is D manos. We got it right, we drew it properly. We got two H's in the middle and HO, two H's in the middle and HO. We got OH, OH alternating, we got OH, OH alternating, we got HH alternating, we got H. So just by remembering the two, three, four rule, and drawing glucose first and then keeping one row the same as glucose and then flipping whatever needed to be flipped at two and four. Now we have mannose, glucose, collectors, and they're all D configuration. And for me, that's really the easiest way to draw this and uh, to identify this on any kind of standardized exam in a quick and easy fashion.